Back now on Try It Today. We have some good information coming your way over the next five minutes or so, but it's kind of a, gee, I almost hope we don't have to give you this good information, but we're going to do it anyway. And let me tell you why. If for whatever reason, God forbid, you find yourself, you or a family member, involved in a car accident, what would you do? What should you do? Well, let's walk through that with someone who's been a guest on the show before, Jay Power, director, if we can see attorney at law, Jim Green. Of course, he's with the Dummett Law Firm, and we welcome Jim back to Try It Today. How are you doing, sir? Not too bad, Jim. It's a pleasure to be here. It's good to see you Hey, again. thanks for being back. If, uh, first thing, let me, if you're involved in a car accident, I guess the first thing is if you're able to, to use your phone or get to a cell phone or whatever, should you use that and how should you use it, who should you call, what should you do? Well, Jim, if you, if you do find yourself in an accident, uh, especially one that might have some sort of considerable impact, uh, once you've gotten safely either out of the road, if your car is able to move to the side of the road, move it, but then go ahead and call the authorities. If you have a mobile phone at that time, use it. If someone else stops to assist, direct them to call the authorities. Uh, the authorities would include both the police uh, and EMS, uh, fire trucks possibly as well. Depending on the severity of the, uh, you know, exactly. I mean, I know this is going to sound like a stupid question, but does the law require you to call the police when there's a car accident? I just assume it does. Interestingly enough, uh, there is a North Carolina law that directly addresses this. And the way the law is written says that if there's reasonable belief that property damage is $1,000 or more, or if there's clear injury to someone or death, then the authorities have to be called. In fact, not calling the authorities might even lead to, uh, to, to civil charges, such as uh, a misdemeanor charge. So, but come. but you, you know, you can, you're, you've been in a car accident. You're not thinking straight. You can't sit there and calculate, gosh, I wonder if I did $300 worth of damage or 1000 or $1,200. So it's always safer to call the police, right? It, it certainly is. And that way, in addition to getting the authorities out there to do an investigation, it can help you protect your legal rights later down the road. Let's talk about injury or, or potential injury. Let's say that it was a bang up of enough impact to where you think you might be hurt, you feel sore, or whatever, but you don't think you're hurt. You, know, you think, well, gosh, I'm a little sore, but I don't need to go to the hospital. Is it better to go on to the ER as soon as the police have checked out the scene or, or what? I mean, what, what do you advise clients about that? I would certainly suggest if you think you've been injured to go ahead and go receive treatment straight away. Uh, a lot of times the full extent of injuries aren't felt until later on in the day. A lot of that has to do with the natural body defenses, such as adrenaline pumps through your body. You don't necessarily feel how bad you're actually injured at that time. Right. You feel, hey, you're on your way to work, you get in an accident, you feel you can go ahead and go to work. Well, if you feel injured, that's probably not a good idea. Go get checked out. And additionally, if you decide that you don't need to be checked out at that point, but you do start feeling bad later on, don't hesitate to go then. It's never too late to go seek medical treatment. That's the most important well, thing. Well, exactly. Now, what about if, if, if we've had a, a, a brush up or a crash or something, and maybe it's the other person's fault, and I'm feeling bad, like, gosh, I need to go to the doctor. I've been hurt. And all of a sudden, let's say a couple of days later, I get a call from that person's insurance company. They say, hey, we got something for you to sign. We're going to give you X number of dollars for your troubles. Now, should I be quick to sign anything like that? A lot of times the insurance companies will, will deal with two separate things. They'll deal with the property damage to your vehicle as a result of the collision. They'll also want to deal with any bodily injuries that you may have faced. With the property damage, you can go ahead and settle that. They're usually fairly fair about it. If you have a question about fairness, you can always contact an attorney. But a lot of times we advise clients that come into our office, hey, it's okay, you can go ahead and settle this property damage. You don't need to retain us at this point. It's not going to help you any. You're going to be okay on your own. But wait a minute. Yeah, I mean, I don't want you to... to <laughs> it's not that I don't want you to get the business, but I'm trying to soak this in here. When should I mean? When should we get an attorney? When do we need your services? For the for the bodily injury and any uh, possible bodily injury, it's a good idea to speak with an attorney to make sure your legal rights are protected. Uh, there's sometimes when the insurance company will want to contact you right away and get you to settle for some amount. You don't even know how much you've been damaged. You might still be treating. Your doctor might say, "I think yeah. you're going to need a couple more weeks, a couple months." You know. Heaven forbid, sometimes even longer than that. Now, what kind of, uh, straighten me out on one quick thing. Uh, what kind of car insurance in North Carolina are we legally bound to have? Uh, for a standard passenger vehicle, you're required to have uh, $30,000 uh, for bodily injury. Uh, and there's a lot of cars that carry that mandatory minimum. You, as, a, as another driver on the road, if you're not carrying underinsured or uninsured motorist coverage and someone else causes an accident to you, the most that the insurance company will pay is that mandatory minimum of $30,000. Okay. That may seem like a lot for you and I talking about money, but overall. No, not with treatment. Good advice. And we have the Dummett Law Firm um, logo up on screen. What's the website and phone number and good stuff? www.nclawyer.com. Okay. And telephone number 777-8081. Jim Gray.